Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I have a brand new Try the World box to share with you and if you're not familiar with this service, I've talked about them a couple times before and I'll link those videos down below. But basically it is $45 a box and you get a box every other month or you can just buy one as a gift or buy just one box for yourself. Um, but it's pretty cool because every box is based on a different country. So it's really neat. They fill it with foods and items from that country as well as they'll give you some information and some fun facts or things to see and do if you do decide to visit that country so it's definitely a really neat concept it's more of like a luxury or gourmet subscription box um, it would make a great gift I think or just even a gift for yourself if you do want to pamper yourself because it is a little bit more pricey but this is the Rio box and I'm really excited because I don't know a whole lot about Brazil um, so I'm really curious to see what items they've included in this um, also you normally get the Paris box first as, no matter when you subscribe you get the Paris box first two months later you'll get the Japan box or the Tokyo box and then um, two months after that you'll get the Rio box which is this one but right now if you want you can actually start off your subscription with the Rio box first and I will post the code for that down below you'll also save ten dollars on your first box I believe the code is World Cup Rio so you'll start with this box and then you'll get the Paris and then the Tokyo and so on so if you you do want to get this one first that might be something you want to take advantage of but like I said the packaging of this is really cute it kind of matches my shirt right now actually I love it it's a really nice sturdy box I use it for storage it's just really really cute and then it has um, it says try the world on the box and then it has a hot air balloon on it so it's really really cute so when you open up the box there is a little booklet in here and it says culture guide Brazil on it and if you guys have seen my other unboxings you'll you'll notice that in the Paris and the Tokyo box we actually got a little like postcard size cards in there with the information on it but I guess now they're doing a little booklet which is nice and it is a nice quality booklet you can definitely hang on to this for reference and stuff but just like the other two boxes you do get a lot of information on this specific culture that the box is based on so it's pretty cool you get a Rio playlist with a list of songs and you can even go on their website and listen to them um, as well as there is a list of Brazilian movies there's also um, what is this Brazilian song lyrics um, there's just a lot of information in here oh there's even I've never seen this this one has a recipe in here so that's pretty cool it says how to make Bejinhos? I don't know. They look like little cupcakes with coconut, I guess. And then inside, there is actually a card still. And this card tells you all of the products that are in the box, as well as a little bit of information about each one, which is always very handy, especially when it comes to boxes that have products from around the world, because a lot of the time, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with them. And then this is what the box looks like. So let's see what we have inside. Okay, the first thing I see is... A little bag and it says men men Dorado I guess it's gonna be really hard for me to read these things because they are um, in another language thankfully I have my little card here and so let me see this is Japanese style peanuts these traditional Japanese peanuts found their origins in the immigration history of Brazil in 1907 the Brazilian and the Japanese government signed a treaty permitting Japanese migration to Brazil with 1.5 million people of Japanese descent today Brazil is home to the largest Japanese population outside of Japan enjoy these little peanuts as any Brazilian would that's really interesting I didn't know that so already I'm learning some interesting facts and I have seen something like this they call it like cracker nuts or something like that they're like coated peanuts so let's see let's give these a try so it looks like a peanut and it has like some sort of coating on it it actually has a very very thin crunchy coating on the outside it almost has like a garlicky flavor to it it's definitely more of a savory snack which I do like peanuts, so that was actually pretty good. So that was nice. That was the first thing. And then the next thing is a big bag. Um, it looks like it looks like coconut, actually, like powdered coconut. Using shredded coconut, you can create a number of delicacies, including the behinhos or little kisses recipe in your culture book again i probably butchered the name of that but i think that's really cute that they would include something like this as well as give you a recipe to use because i really wouldn't know what to do with this except make maybe coconut shrimp or something like that then there is jellia de morongo and it looks like it is 
um, like strawberry preserves or something like that. It's a little bit, it's a little sticky. I must have gotten a different one actually now that I'm looking at it because mine says Gelia de Moranga and it looks like there's strawberries on it. So the one on the card looks like it's the Djibouti Kaba Jam and I don't I don't know what that is, but I don't think this is the right one. So I must have gotten a different flavor or something. All right, then we also got, I think this is tea. Um, this is from Madrugada. This is Cha Misto Maracuja, which if this is the same thing, I mean, I could be wrong. It could just look the same, but Tarte does a lot of products with maracuja oil, and I think it's spelled like this, so I wonder if it's the same thing. Okay, I think I got a different flavor again because on the card it says Cha de Erva Dolce or Anise Tea, and um, it doesn't say anything about this particular one, so I must have gotten, again, a different flavor because mine says maracuja on it, so... Yeah, oh, it says passion fruit tea. Oh. The next thing in here is a big gelatinous brick. If you watched my Tokyo um, unboxing, there was something very similar to this. This is goyabada or paste de goyaba. Goyabada is a popular guava dessert in many Portuguese speaking countries dating back to colonial days. In Brazil, goyabada is usually eaten with Minas cheese. This combination is called Romeo and Juliet because it is like cheese and guava were made for each other. Goyabada can be spread on toast at breakfast or served hot with cheese inside an empanada, a kind of miniature pie. Then there is a little, I think this is a piece of candy. It says Poco Kita, peanut candy bar. Um, so there is a little bit of English on this. I can read that much. It looks like the jam made a little bit of a mess in here because some of the stuff is sticking together. Um, but the next thing in here is Bananicas, a traditional sweet of the Sao Paulo region. Its unique flavor and creamy texture made it famous throughout the state of Sao Paulo. And then throughout Brazil, it says that it's also a great snack after a workout due to its high potassium content. So that's interesting. And again, it's really soft. So let's, maybe I'll give this a try. It's like a really dark brown kind of like squishy bar. And it doesn't really smell a whole lot like banana, but let's see. That's interesting. It's like almost has like a, like a sugary coating on the outside. And it does have like a banana taste to it, but it's definitely like a really, really ripe banana. It's not overly sweet though, which is interesting. And then there are a couple of these like little ribbons. I think I know what these are. I believe these are like the Brazilian Wish bracelets. I think I used to see Lorraine, the current custom, she used to wear a couple of these. Um, but just to make sure, let me read what it says. These are Bahia bands, am I saying that right? And it says that this is a good luck charm with each color having a different meaning. And I don't know what these colors mean. Um, it says the writing on the ribbon means in remembrance of the savior of Bahia. Wrap the wish ribbon around the wrist and make three knots, making a wish for each knot tied. Once the Brazilian wish ribbon falls off the wrist on its own, it is believed that the three wishes will come true. That's kind of neat and kind of cute because it's, it's something different. But yeah, it looks like that's it. Those are all the things that are in the box. And yeah, let me know if you guys are from Brazil or you visited there or you just know a lot about it. Let me know if you've heard of any of the items that are in the box because most of the stuff in here is new to me and I kind of have to figure out what I'm going to do with them. So let me know if you guys have tried them before. But yeah, like I said, going into the box, I didn't really know that much about Brazilian culture and it's nice to get like a teeny tiny little glimpse of it, um, which I think is really neat because I like I said, everything in this box is pretty much new to me. So yeah, those are all the things that were in the Rio box for Try the World. And I will put the discount codes down below if you guys are interested in giving it a try. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.